any man that is in Christ. Not just a select type of people who are in Christ. He says any man. So whether you are African man, an Indian man, a Chinese man, a Caucasian man, a Dogla man, a whatever. Once you are a man in Christ or a female man, whatever you are. <laughs> he said any man that is in Christ is a new creature. Walking in the spirit is allowing ourselves to adopt the principles of God in our daily lives. The spirit moves, God speaks. And we respond when we hear what God is saying in our lives. We got to respond. The reason why we have all this trouble is because we continue to walk in the flesh rather than in the spirit. We continue to allow our natural man and our natural desire to create within us that, that drive and that motivation. We are enticed to do things that are wrong. Many of us, we fall into that trap and feel, feel, feel that we got to just go by what feels good and if it feels good, I'm going to do it and because it feels good, I want that and I want this and something looks good. Oh my gosh, look at this nice girl. Woo. Or whatever is your preference. <laughs> Some people don't like that. All that is in the world, the loss of the eyes, the loss of the flesh and the pride of life. These three, they are not of God. The danger with sexual sin is this. It falls into all three categories. The lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and when you get a girl, you feel proud. If Jesus, who was the living word, was able to use the written word to fight against the enemy, then we who have the living word on the inside of us can use the written word to fight the enemy.